Fellowship Student Ministries is a very unique ministry. Um, the average ministry really deals with uh, the mass numbers of, of children and people, and FSM is completely opposite. You know, early days we um, we tried some larger group things. We tried um, different socials, but our, the the basis of what we've always done has been small group uh, discipleship. She really just taught me how to be on mission. Growing up, it was just me and my mom. I really didn't have my dad in my life. Uh, I didn't really have any real men in my life to model that Christian lifestyle for me. So growing up, it was kind of hard for me to know what being a man is and how to be a man. It brings my heart joy to see um, just the process of training these kids allowing them to realize that it's just much more than them. Christ not only died for you, but he died for others. So the main approach towards discipling uh, students uh, for us programmatically would be our discipleship groups. Uh, they're small groups, we call them D groups. I would say FSM has been a huge blessing in that um, no matter how well your wife models Jesus, uh, there comes a point in their lives where they uh, get a little older and they start to look outside the home to uh, validate their religious belief systems and um, FSM has provided leaders that they think are cool, that uh, they respect uh, beyond measure, that they love and, um, and that has uh, really gone a long way to uh, reinforce the values that we have tried to instill in them as their parents. Josh Weiss and Terrence Gray have really matured me as growing in Christ. And uh, the way that FSM has, and my mom have really prepared me for college is to be a disciple, uh, to be a leader. They've taught me to uh, be able to share my faith with other people. There's a, a broad spectrum to what deep group involves. It's not just Bible study. It's life on life ministry that involves Bible study, it involves prayer, it involves evangelism, it involves um, coming alongside each other, go to a Grizzlies game. It's encouraging for me to see somebody her age just walking with the Lord and being excited about spending time in the Word and stuff like that. She's always eager to learn more and grow more. Um, just the other day, I was, we were working, we were going through James, a study together, and I texted her to see if she had been working on it and because I was trying to get my stuff done and she was already finished, so I was like, oh snap, I need to get on my. Um, study. It was important for me to meet other Christian friends because I thought I was alone in this struggle to uh, just abide by God and be with Him. And I realized that I was not the only one struggling. And not only that, but I could tell someone that I was struggling. There's someone there to ask me, like, hey, are you okay? Just they've all become, you know, a little mini family to me. And just they, so we go so much deeper than even just say with mid-group it's investing so much in each other's lives and you know going out and to Starbucks and just talking and yeah, it's just much bigger than Bible studies it's just much bigger than youth groups and summer camps it's a life that is a devoted to Christ we want to put our energy into and these students have dreams and passions and gifts for the for the gospel that we want to unleash and see what they can go do and not when they're 30, but what they can do as a 16-year-old to reach the world for Christ. So that's, that's the future, is just seeing uh, what's birthed in these students' hearts to go and do and how we can help serve them.